Everyone's going through one of its hibernations, but it's not showing much sign of waking up this time. The audiences are, are falling off at some times of the year anyway. The summer's still fairly strong. I think the winter's getting progressively worse. Unless the bands can really cut it, then they're not interested. They expect far more from now from them than they ever did before. I don't think there's a great deal around to get excited about. Well, there's a lot of people out there. The audience is much healthier than the bands. How often have you played on stage? Three, three times, fourth one coming out. <coughs> How long has the band been going? Uh, two years in October. Three times in two years. Mm. What is big in Auckland at the moment? Nostalgia. Looking back. Ain't nobody else in the whole wide world like you. The Jive Bombers are the top draw in pubs like the Glue Pot. But the Glue Pot's one of a dwindling number of pubs to play in. There are certainly less in Auckland than a few years ago. Once upon a time, a band like Street Talk would play the Glue Pot one weekend in the Windsor and then and virtually do an Auckland tour forever. And they still pulled crowds. But that audience doesn't seem to be there anymore. The Jive Bombers does pretty well, it's fairly popular. I think it would be harder for a brand new band to get started. What sort of stuff normally plays at the glue pot these days? Well, it's becoming more and more conservative. There's less on here perhaps than there used to be because people are going out less. Certainly, Eddie Cook uh, has a bit of a quality control thing about music, but it's certainly not nothing to do with how old or young the band is. If a band's reasonably musical, it can get a gig here. All the same, bands like the Mockers, whose audience are underage, have a certain disadvantage in pubs. Well, I think some of the, the bands like the Mockers and the Dance Exponents realised that they were never going to crack it in pubs, basically because their audience was too old, and, uh, and they finally started playing schools and places like that and reached that audience. They weren't being played on radio to a great extent at that stage, so they weren't reaching them that way. But playing schools and then some of the live TV things they've had on radio with pictures and Shazam has has brought them to that audience and the kids are excited about about pop music again. They weren't for a long time. Not local pop music anyway. The underage market has proved so big they've now got their own place called simply The Venue. Here an audience with an average age of about 15 are catered to by bands often not much older. The venue is basically the first club that's open for an underage audience that supplies music that teenagers want to hear. And what sort of music is that, do you think? Well, um, in an international sort of thing, it's, it, it is Duran Duran, but from a local point of view, it is bands like the Dance Exponents and the Mockers. What's it like playing to an underage crowd, and what way is it different to a great crowd? Can't beat it. That's, that's right, great. Yeah. But pubs, they've got other things on their minds, sex, drugs and rock and roll. And in that order, rock and roll is last. So in a pub, they've got they've got their booze and they've got you know um, the, the opposite sexes to, to chat up. But at an underage place, obviously. Oh, well, there's that, not that problem at all. You know, you know that, that if you're playing a hall, they're there to see you. That's right. Which makes you feel better, and and they they you know the the young people feel good about it as well. They know you're going to give them a good show. One reason why young people are getting behind local bands is radio. Auckland Radio is the best in the country, with a high quota of homegrown product. Once it end, by playing bands like Radioactive and bands like Blase, that's given Auckland's youth another whole series of headline bands, or bands they can go and see. In Auckland we've got the double advantage of having Radio One Z M and Radio B playing a very large percentage of local music. They're both playing it to different areas, but at least it gets played. People who listen to Radio B, the student station, come here, the Windsor Castle. The Windsor's probably the most progressive venue at the moment. 